Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT. Let's crack into another one. Uh, so TNT. Yo. A, uh, a a a family yeah. was was going through some of their beloved ones be, loved ones' belongings. Oh, they stumbled on Granddad's porn. Granddad's Not porn quite as box. cool. They stumbled upon Granddad's grenade. Okay, all right. And uh, somebody pulled the pin, and it killed the dad, and like, and, and like, blew up. Like, yeah. It, the 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 headline reads: Dad dead, teenage children injured after a grenade blast at Lakes of the Four Seasons in the Indiana home. So they were going through their dead grandfather's stuff. He had a live effing grenade, and one of them was just like, pull the pin, blew up, killed the dad. The 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 kids got the kids. I don't think died. I didn't see the follow up, but they were messed up. They were in the hospital. Like he didn't think it was real. They must have. I don't know. He was like, "Hey, watch this, kids!" Or it could have been the kid. Like, Dad, what's this? Like, dude. Oh, that's true. Yeah, dude. And threw it at the dad. Dude, thought it was a toy. Bro, bro. That's why you don't keep grenades. (laughs) This is why you don't keep grenades. The moral of today's podcast: Don't keep grenades. I just like I saw the story and I was like, how wild of an experience would that be? Like, dude, if I was going through a box of like. I, I, my grandmother died like six months ago. I was going through her stuff. If I found a grenade in the goddamn box, I would call the goddamn cops and be like, I found a grenade, send the bomb squad. Let's, I'm, I'd run out of the goddamn house. Like, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even touch it. You wouldn't even touch Hell it? Hell no, dude. I, I like living. I would much rather a professional comes and takes that shit out the house <laughs> than me mess with it and then the pin falls out accidentally. Like, I don't Do you know how to handle a grenade? No. I, I don't do, either. I do, I'd I do, much I rather do. just be like, I'm, not, I'm out. I wouldn't know what or to do. Or maybe carry it in the box outside. But I'd be afraid it would go off. Like, if I jostle it the wrong way. You know what I mean? I would probably save that S son of a B for like the 4th of July and be like, hey, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Braver than I, my friend. I mean, I would I'd probably like. I feel like I would probably like set it now and maybe like tie a string to it or something. I uh, it's been sitting in the attic for how long? The thing ain't going off. It's still good. Oh yeah, sure ain't going off. To, yeah, yep, sure ain't going off. It ain't went off yet, dude. I would run like it's me next to a beehive. I'd be like, ah, just run. <laughs> just rem- FYI, I don't like bees. That's fair enough. I remember I had a family member die, and I actually did stumble on their uh their little uh treasure trove of adult material oh ish and i would rather take a grenade than ever see some of the stuff i saw in there (laughs) yeah (laughs) yeah yeah no 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 i feel you i feel you it's it's uh you know it's that's one of those things that kind of like i don't say it worries me necessarily because i'm uh, nothing illegal right right but like there is some like just like embarrassing stuff well the it's like we've joked before like if i die in a car wreck i didn't have a computer you take that and you throw it in the trash (laughs) throw it in the compactor (laughs) like you take my tablet my phone my computer dose them in water throw them in the trash compactor and just be like you didn't have one but that's just because you're you're a proud boy and i will never even joke about that being acceptable (laughs) no i am not I would much rather you talk about some weird ass shit that I have on my computer than right. a proud boy moment. Because you're a QAnon yeah. and all your uh, QAnon propaganda. Yeah, like we've all, yeah, it's like, oh man, if I die, track. just throw that tablet away and tell me you don't know where it is. Because, like, I don't even know what's on, but you know what? The last thing I want is my mom to be like, what's on here? And then come across, like, some whatever. Yeah, I don't need people listening to me beatbox over my phone for 20 minutes. <laughs> I don't need what, that. What's in this folder? TNT beatbox. It's just, you're like, all right, everybody, it's January 3rd. <laughs> and you're like, oh. I don't need people listening to my practice stand. My video my diary. Like, oh, my God. Dear <laughs> diary, today I went to the store. They didn't have any now and laters, and I was mad. Now and laters, I wow. couldn't think of anything that they were out of. Those now and the, laters was the first thing that popped those in. Those are head. delicious, the most delicious and disgusting candy. Oh, ever dude, created. you can't chew them ever. Nah, it's, I they're constant. It's like you ever need to get a tooth pulled? Just chew on some effing now and laters. I don't want to. Rip it out of its socket. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to throw up, dude. Because <laughs> that's like that's one of those vat candy. Uh, we're not getting into it's the not vat a vat candy. candy, is it? Now and laters are fucking vat candies. <laughs> are you kidding me? There's a big vat of banana, vanilla banana. <laughs> there's a big vat of like strawberry, and there's a, a big, big vat, vat of, of melted banana now and like, yeah. like melted banana laffy taffy before they solidify exactly. it. Exactly, and then they just like push it through a funnel that like puts it in like one long strand of like square, and then, and then they just chop, cut chop, it. Chop, 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 chop. 
so gross, dude. And there's this like it's just human sugar hair. and glucose and, and it's never, human hair. It's like, never a covered vet. Is the thing is that it's always an open vet. So there's just like skin flakes and human hair and like saliva. No, no, no. They're all like, oh, don't worry, El, El, Edna's got a hairnet on. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Oh, Edna dropped her car keys in there. <laughs> Edna jumped in the vet. Oh, El, Edna, we found your car keys. <laughs> Pull them out of the funnel part while oh, your ventilators have been so... covered with Edna's child saliva and Ew, dog uh, dander. So, I don't need that. So gross. I don't need that. That's I hate so vet candy. Gross. That's why I, I uh, funny story though. Like chocolate I guess it's is not, a bad candy. It's not that funny. Way. Like. I guess I was like, when well, I was going through like my like all my grandma's stuff, trying to sort it out. Nope. She had calendars and calendars of just like what she did on the day, like seven thirty dinner with Ed and and Jill. And I'm like, oh, and she kept them. She kept them. I've years uh -huh. and years. And like I found like it was like. It was, like, just random stuff, like, newspaper clippings, dude, of, like, friends and family that had died and, like, Obituaries, like just, yeah. like, hoarding-ass newspaper clippings that no one ever was going to look at again. I'm sure she hadn't looked at them in 30 years, mm -hmm. but they were sure as hell in a box, and I was like, oh, this is, no one needs this. This is the most not, not relevant stuff ever in the existence of stuff. Okay, so I feel like there's an equivalent to this okay. with, with people today. Um I will 100% admit that when uh when certain rappers or certain like uh public figures have passed away, I've taken screenshots and I've sent them to people. Uh, like I when still... the Joe Biden like Joe Biden won like that one. <laughs> no, nothing like that. I know I'm joking. <laughs> but when like Kobe died, well, it's, I was like like... A, it's like a digital newspaper clipping. It is like, it, but usually it's like with the intent to like send it to people. Like, oh shit, it just happened like 19 minutes ago. I'm like sending it to yeah, a bunch yeah, of people. yeah, and then I'm like. I'll just keep that. Well, yeah. And, and, and <laughs> I'll I guess, just hang on to that. Well, and it's like nowadays, mm -hmm. my grandma also had like 40 photo albums. Exactly. And like, and I'm now, fine. Yeah, have, all that shit I is in my 40. digital box yeah. and it takes up no space. Yeah. You know what's going to happen when I die? Someone's either going to look at it or it will never be seen again. And, yeah. it, and you know what they have to do to figure that out? Hold a thing the size of like a, a phone exactly. in my hand. Like, that's it. Exactly. So the the things that your grandmother was keeping or things that, uh, like, older people keep kept when they when they passed away are the same things that we do. It's just that it's all been condensed into the cell phone, which is amazing. Oh, yeah, dude. But I'd say is that we're still, like, subject to the same behaviors. You know, I was thinking, like, I don't know, I was thinking about the other day. It was, like, it's so funny, like... Everyone used to have, like, try to have, like, big houses and, like, whatever, but you have all this stuff, like, records and CDs and DVDs, and you had all this space and books and, like, whatever. Like, you could have so much stuff and live in, like, a 12 by 12 room. Because, like, if, if you have, like, a computer, a laptop, a phone, that you can hold all of that, books, movies, pictures, all on that. And then what do you have in your room? Like a bed, a chair, a TV? Like, and you have like a full house except you for do. a kitchen. Like yeah. in one room. Yeah. Like, because yeah, when me and my ex-wife split up, I, I literally had a room. It was like 12 by 12. I had my bed, a chair, a desk with my comp my work computer, a TV, TV stand. I had like a little shelf that I, I shared a house with a guy and his sons. Like I had like some dishes on it that were my dishes. So if I had a kitchen right off that room. I could have had everything I needed. Like I had no space for anything. Yeah, but like you're, you're living like like the Japanese at that point, man. But dude, like we don't need space. Like like it's, people just need space no, for stuff, don't. and all of our stuff is digital now. Yeah, yeah, that's very true. Um, mostly just like toilet, kitchen stuff take up the most space. Yeah, like like I was um. Like, it was interesting. Like, you came to the house that I rented with my ex-wife right before we split up. Yeah. The house was giant. And we only took it because it was this, it was the same price or cheaper than houses that were, like, half its size. But we had – there was so much space. You didn't need it. We didn't need it. And we had, to, we had to clean it. Yeah. Like, you had to keep the dust and the – what like – I was like, man, why do you want a 4,000 square foot house when all you have to do is fill it up and dust it? You're using <laughs> one room all the time. I know. I don't know, man. So people people like living in big big homes like that. I really don't get it. Like, you see, like, the, the $14 million, $20 million, $200 million homes, and I'm like, what does the yeah, home But they're so rich. I got somebody to clean that. Lives on site. Bruh, but what? What, what do you, why, why? Why? Yeah. What does the home do for you for that much money? Nothing. Just, now, if you have, like, a basketball court and a tennis court and a movie theater, like, that's cool, I guess. But, like... How often are you using your basketball court movie well, right. theaters? And that's my and that's my pool theory. You pay, pay, so, pay so much money to have a pool at your house. 
Yep. You have to pay so much to keep it up to. Up and then, and if you're a grown ass person who works a full time job, how much? How many hours a week you use in that pool? Yeah. One, two. It's like you get a pool and you you get in that mindset like, all right, I got a pool, so now I'm going to do laps every day. <laughs> like I'm going to do ten laps every night. Yeah, before, and you're like, bed. I'd rather just live in an apartment complex and use their goddamn pool if it's ever open. Yeah, or you just go to the public pool. Like oh that. yeah, dude. That's, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Anyways, that's all time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com. Nope. What? For Jonas. See you soon. Yep.